Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing something a little different because, you know, it's kind of boring seeing the same thing over and over again. Uh, I was actually, you know, because of the fact that I made an RC craft and I've been making mini things, can we make a mini ISS? Sounds ridiculous, I know, but I'm going to do it anyway. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to need some concentration for this. This might get a little difficult. Where do I even start? I mean, right now I'm looking at pictures online of the ISS. It's not like I know this shit by heart. I need graphs. I need blueprints. I need picture data. Okay, I think I found something here. Wow, space station is extremely complex. Ooh, did I bite off more than I can chew? I mean, I already knew the sucker was, you know, the size of a football field. I mean, now that I get a better look at it, it doesn't look that bad. We could probably whip something up that looks similar to it. I'm not trying to copy every single part. I'm just doing a little something fun on the side here. Okay, so there's like a Russian thing, and then right. So how do we make a small little Russian thing? I do believe we're going to be using this little guy quite often. He's perfect. He looks like a little capsule. We're definitely going to have to abuse some flags on this one. Definitely gonna have to abuse some flags. Okay, um, that's the first <laughs> For now, uh, moving right along. I can't tell, but it looks like there's a little window right there in the service module. I'll fix that. All right, you have the uh, MR, MRM2 and the docking compartment. I'm just gonna represent them as these little two things because, you know, we're just trying to keep it easy, small. Functional cargo block is the next one. Actually, it might be a little easier. It looks pretty round, meaning I don't have to do a whole bunch of stuff to it. And it looks like it has more solar panels. Okay. A little adapter right there. A mini research module that connects from underneath. Okay. I think I see another window on there. I could be wrong, but we'll, we'll put one on there. Probably wrong. Oh, well. I like windows. So mini research module, hmm, I think for this one we'll actually use another mini research thing. AKA goo container, whoops, okay, that'll work. It looks like it even has like little legs and stuff on it, so that could definitely be that. Looks like they're pointing outwards the other way though, so I'll take this and I'll just like that. Alright, pressurized matting adapter, mating adapter, matting adapter, wow. I mean, it's not perfect, but I think I can make this work. It's kind of crooked and all that good stuff, so that might work. We'll have to see. All right, so if I'm reading this right, looks like the node one is next. It's not going to be elongated. It's going to be small, so another one of these engines. I mean, engines. Another one of these parts. Uh, the small Oscar B to the rescue. Might be even down a little bit. Not sure. Eh, close enough. Definitely going to need two of these. All right, and it's kind of silvery, but let me check real quick. Diagram has it kind of looking silvery, but I doubt that's what it actually looks like. Uh, no. Actually, they are silvery. I'll be damned. Okay. Let's uh, switch over to a different type of flag. A silvery flag. Actually, I don't know. This is, this is silvery, right? It even kind of has the same grid pattern going on. I'm not trying to get too detailed. Yeah, it's got the same type of grid pattern. Okay. I think I'll just leave it like that. We'll see. There has to be connection points, though, so... That's gonna be kind of obvious if there isn't any. So I think what I'll do is I'll take this. There we go. Well, um, something better I can use. <laughs> oh, wait. Let's see if that works. Yes and no. I'm not liking the fact that this is showing through the little parts right there, but I mean, I could, I could ignore it. At least it looks like it's connected somehow. So this would be the US lab, which would then be attached to node two and another PMA and that looks like it's open to space so we'll put a little cap on it that's actually perfect there we go <laughs> that's pretty perfect that's pretty close there we go yeah nice okay maybe if we flip it around oh there we go okay cool oh it looks like you got another adapter up here oh crap you have the node 3 and the uh, airlock and the airlock has a bunch of different modules stuck around it. And then a protruding one in the middle. Expandable activity module. It's even remarkably got the right diameter for uh, the connection point here. That's kind of nice. Huh, I'll be damned. Lights can attach to it. Uh, okay. Hmm. There you go. Next is the Columbus Orbital Facility. And right next to it is the Japanese Experiment Module. Japanese Experiment Module is pretty long in comparison to the other ones. And from the picture, it looks like it's off to one side. 
Bunch of little squares, huh? Okay, I can do that. Add some, add a little bit of detail. There we go. We got a little arm, looks like. There we go, got a little. <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. A little bit, that's pretty neat. I mean, I'm, I'm into models and stuff, right? So using KSP as a RC and a model builder is pretty cool. I really do think we're starting to push the limits. We may have even gone beyond the limits. <laughs> Not too sure how long they are, but that could work. Okay, I don't really know what I'm doing, but uh, I'm just following my gut. And it looks like it's not right down the middle, but attached a little higher up, like right here. I don't want to get too detailed, but it's something like that. What could I use for a radiator? I'm thinking I'm going to have to end up building my own. All right, so that looks like it's some sort of uh, mechanical thing going on. Although it doesn't look like a large radiator panel. It's kind of smaller. I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty damn close actually but i can't help myself i'm i'm kind of possessed right now yeah that might i think that might be just a little too big <laughs> oh that would have worked perfectly looks like nothing but box structures after this Ooh, okay okay that looks actually much better i'm glad i changed that i went from this to that all right, so I just learned that there's actually more to the space station by watching some of Scott Manley's videos about the space station, as well as some NASA videos. So we need to go ahead and update the space station a little bit. Also, I'm not really too sure about those solar panels. I'm thinking about changing them soon. Okay, so we have to remember that uh, it has new additional solar panels. Okay, so here we are with the pretty much almost final product. I went ahead and added a bunch of stuff, all the upgrades and stuff that they're going to do or they've already done, such as the uh, Russian module that threatened to push the entire space station out of orbit. <laughs> so that's newly there. Of course, we have uh, a cargo module. And then on top of that, we have the cargo dragon. You can't really see it right now. And then, of course, we need our crew dragon right there. Itty bitty. Oh, it's so adorable. Let's get some light on the subject real quick so I can show you what's, what else is added. So I don't know if you can see that too well, but there is an arm right here. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Here comes the Kraken. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, whoa. Yeah, that's that's totally fucked. Okay, it looks like it's working now. I can fast forward. I can stop. And they'll wiggle just a little bit, but nothing crazy. I had to tie everything down, but you know, looks good. Looks good. All right, we'll go ahead and shed some light on the bottom here. Okay, so here is the arm, and it's going to take cargo out of the cargo dragon. I was watching a video, and it was attached to this module right here. It took cargo out from the cargo dragon, and then placed that uh, commercial inflatable habitat right here. So from all the way over here, over there, I don't know if it could stretch out there. It looks like it could. I bet it could. But yeah, that's how that's how long the arm is, really. It's kind of cool if you think about it. Okay, so for the piece of resistance is number one key, go. Now I'm still learning how everything works, I'm not too sure if that was the correct rotation or how does that even work, but I do remember seeing a picture where the radiators were pointing outwards in that direction. Okay everyone, that's it for now for the Micro Space Station ISS. Hope you liked it, it was a fun build. I know a lot of people are crying out for the craft files. One of these days I'm going to go to Kerbal X and get everything all situated. But until then, I hope this inspires you to build your own. 
remember that flags are your friend. The radiators are flags, are, you know, these side paneling are flags, all that jazz. But anyway, I gotta go. Love you all, take care, and I'll see everyone in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.